Okay, this is my 360 final proposal audiovisual presentation. Um, for my final project, I'm going to do a fashion film which explores the season's um, trends for 2011. Um, it's mainly a research sort of project into the trends and stuff. Um, and then it's as well the production values, which will be filming in different different places to try and get a feel of each season. Um, I'm going to call it seasons at the minute because I can't really think, I, I, I don't know what to call it yet. Um, I literally came up with the idea about a week ago, so it's really going to change uh, from that. Um, it's basically going to have a character called Alice who wakes up every morning um, and picks an outfit from her wardrobe. Um, she has a secret, there's like a sequence in the morning where she has a bag and looks out the window and decides what to wear from the weather and um, then she literally goes inside a wardrobe like um like Narnia um and she decides what to what to wear from that so um the sequence where she goes inside a wardrobe she'll come out in the season so spring she'll be in the woods um summer by the beach um autumn I'm still I don't know what to do for autumn yet probably a city I don't know um and then winter is the one I'm going to film first, um, even though it's the furthest away. So research-wise, that'd be it'd be better to do it late. But um, I'm going to film that in Prague um, because I'm going in February. It's going to be really cold, hopefully snowing. So the scene will be set. <laughs> um, the unique selling point. Um, there's not a whole lot of sort of fashion forecasting videos that are set out in like a fancy way, um, like a fancy drama, so that would be one. Um, the other thing is for me, um, I want to go into fashion video, fashion film, whatever, so um, it's like a good thing for me to hand out to employers. Um, the rationale, um, the main subject is obviously the trends of, of 2011. But um, it's also sort of entertainment, I guess, because it's a story. It's um, it's like Narnia, fancy. There's a load of fairy tale themes put in there as well. Um, it fits into the media sort of environment at the minute because obviously I finished the project in April, and we're only still in sort of spring, about to go into summer. So it's forecasting the trends. Um, the research that I've been doing is sort of something I've been doing for a long time because I've been like looking at trends and doing fashion photo shoots and styling on shoots and doing wardrobe on films and stuff for the past three years so um, that's sort of research enough for me. Um, the main research I'm going to need to do is into 2011's trends but that's something I've, I'm always sort of looking at anyway on blogs and fashion shows and stuff like that so um, distribution I'm going to distribute the film um, well I'll be finished by April end of April hopefully so um, I want to distribute it when I'm in New York um, doing another project because I'll have a lot of spare time there to sort of go and annoy some um, fashion houses and uh, fashion magazines and stuff like that. So hopefully that will be worth doing. Um, distribution as well. I'll send it online um, to a lot of people that I want to work for in the future. Um, for the audience, sort of entertainment wise, it'll I'll probably put it on like Vimeo or something like that. Um, and publicise it somehow by getting it on the internet, on blogs, on trying to sneak my way onto fashion blogs, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm also renting out a room in London for my graduation show where I'm going to have, um, it, it's like a big event room, I'm still researching into which one to have and emailing different um, owners to see how much the rent would be and if I can negotiate something but I want it to be in central London in a place that usually e exhibits fashion 
related things. Um, my budget and skills audit. Um, the skills I'm going to need, I think this project is something where the skills I've already got, so um, I'll just be developing on skills I already have, because I've been doing um, fashion photo shoots and um, sort of, I've done fashion videos before with stop motion, I've done fantasy sort of drama videos before in um, like old hotels, like uh, really short videos but there's still skills I've learned from them. Um, and main, I think the main skill I need to develop on would be knowing what skills, uh, knowing what um, fashions and trends are going to be around. So it's research really. Um, budget. Uh, I th I've spent a lot of money already on going to Prague and the locations and stuff. Um, I'm going to use for my Alice character and stuff just people I know because I'd like to use like models for it, but it's going to be a project that's going to take a long time. Um, you can't always get reliable models, as I've learned before, for, for very cheap. So I think the best way to do it, and um, because it'd be, it'd be very minor acting, um, I'm going to use people that resemble models already and that I know. So it won't really cost me anything for that. Um, the the main thing would be clothes, which I've already looked into. You can buy clothes on insurance basis. So with the big department stores and Topshop and that, if I buy it on their card, then take it back, um, I can get a refund from, from it. So it won't really cost me anything to do that unless I damage it, obviously. So that's the main worry. Um, plan and schedule of work. Um, Basically, I'm planning it now. I'm going to film it in February the um, in Prague for the winter. So I need to focus on winter at the moment. Um, I've, I've planned a test shoot for summer, and uh, for spring, sorry. Um, so I'll probably film spring straight after winter. Um, and then autumn and summer. I was nearer to April because obviously summer I can do last because it will be sunnier to film and hopefully go down I'm, in March I'm going to be at the beach but I don't think the weather's going to be too great so um, my supporting creative artifact um, I've done a load of illustrations and got a load of props and stuff they're all on my blog um, I was gonna I'm doing a test shoot next week so um, I, I can't put that in for this I can't submit it in a minute but um, I've done very similar films before, which I'll put on my blog, which would be my supporting artefacts to show that I, I can film in that style, and um, hopefully it'll be better when I film this time. Um, and my conclusion, um, I'm really excited about doing the project because um, it's one that will make me more employable when I've finished. So I think it's just something to, to round off my time at of uni and try and get me onto a postgrad in fashion film or like try and get me a job in fashion film um yeah so i'm quite excited about it also i love fantasy film it's all based on fairy tales and fashion and things that i love um so yeah i'm really excited about it and something that i don't think i'll give up on um because i can change it a lot so when i get bored of some an idea i can just change it and it won't have too much impact on budget or planning or anything like that. So that's it. Thank you for watching.